Hi, I'm Erica Reed with EricaReedLovesKids.com. Today we're here with Dr. Holly Phillips, who is going to show us how to use an EpiPen. Dr. Holly, tell us, what is an EpiPen for? So an EpiPen, we should keep on hand to treat the most severe form of allergic reaction. Right, allergies can, can affect our bodies in many, many ways. You can have a wide variety of symptoms, from things that are really light, you know, like a sniffly nose, to pollen, things that are, can be very life-threatening. Uh, one of the life-threatening forms is called anaphylaxis, and that's what an EpiPen is used to treat. Anaphylaxis has some really distinguishing symptoms. Um, it could just be that you feel a little bit dizzy or weak, uh, you might feel itchy as though you're getting hives, but the most dangerous symptoms is when you experience tingling and numbness in your lips, a feeling of fullness in your tongue, and a lot of people say they feel as though their throats are swelling and closing up, and in some cases they are. That's a real medical emergency. That's when you would reach for an EpiPen, but more importantly, you would call 911. If you're able to talk to the operator, they can help you decide whether or not you're going to need to use it. If you're nowhere where you can reach 911 or they're not responding right away, then you would go ahead and do it. Now, I know that an EpiPen comes in, you know, now they have new ones on the market, there's just various ones out there, but the one that I'm most familiar with is the junior pack as well as the adult pack. Uh, when would a 10 year old no longer need the junior pack? The junior pack is for kids who are between the weights of 33 pounds and 66 pounds. If you're over 66 pounds, you use the adult heavy pen. Right? They're very easy to use too. So you know, this is this is just a training one. But with a real one, you would take it out of the out of the packaging, just like this. You just pull it out, and then once you pull it out, it looks like this one. Um, and here's how easy it is to use. You take off this blue safety valve and then you're just going to hold it. They call it in your dominant hand, so if you're right-handed or left-handed. You insert it in your thigh is the ideal place. Don't take time to take off your clothes if you're very, very sick. It can go right through the clothes. And you hold it for 10 seconds. So you can inject it through your jeans, Absolutely. through your pants, okay. sweatpants. It's actually suggested that you do that rather than taking time to take the clothing off. The medication that's in it, tell me a little bit about the medication. The medication is called epinephrine. Uh, it is really used in an emergency setting. Uh, it will almost immediately take away some of that swelling that can be life-threatening where it blocks your breathing. Um, but it in and of itself has some side effects, right? It'll make your heart race fast. It's not a medication to use unless you need it. Also, it wears off. So if you're having an anaphylactic reaction and you require this, you also then need to go to the hospital. And why is it important that we get to the hospital if we've used an EpiPen and we feel like all of a sudden we can breathe? Well, an EpiPen is really just a quick fix for an anaphylactic uh, allergic reaction. It'll stop that, that swelling in your throat that can cut off your breathing, which is life threatening, but it doesn't actually get rid of all the symptoms of the reaction. So it's important to get to the hospital so that you can be assessed so that they can give you other medications to stop the allergic reaction, and then you're there in case of any emergencies. I tell you, don't give up at home if you have food allergies. Just make yourself more aware. Um, it's really about bringing awareness into your home and, and educating yourself. I'm Erica Reed with EricaReedLovesKids.com. Remember, we're all moms striving to do better. See you on the next episode.